inside a 10,000 per night ice hotel room. Sounds fucking miserable. Be very My cold. name is Eric Conover. That is a giant man made out of snow. God, that's this cool. Is a Holy bed shit. Made out of ice. In fact, this whole building is made out of snow and ice. It is minus 11 degrees in northern Finland, and I am about to spend the night in this snow tier one, big nasty in the ice prime. hotel. Mark Julian and Reese of LJ and Nayanata. Let's start off with some and hotel Adam stats. And Adam, some normal this snow village covers an area of 20,000 square meters. Sweet Johnny, but it's built no, up no, every no. year from scratch, and construction begins around late October to early November when it gets cold enough. The hotel is constructed from 20 million kilos of snow and 350,000 kilos of crystal clear natural. Stop ice. using kilos. The Put it in pounds. In the snow village remains at that way. I can be impressed. I mean, I guess you could call it comfortable. Minus two to about minus five degrees Celsius. And now for the grand tour. Let's start off in the ice restaurant. Three sub Tahir Tonight and we're dining in the world's largest igloo. I've traveled around the world and I've stayed I'll in some pretty up, cool Gosky. places in my time, but I've never, ever stayed in a place made out of snow. Basically, everything in here is ice. Table made out of ice. Chair made out of ice. Bar made out of ice. Silverware not made out of ice. I'm not oh, boo. On ice. I'm sitting on a nice little butt warmer faux fur. We have some blankets. We have some hot. Hot tea to warm the soul. To Finland. Bye. Cheers, live. I mean, this place maybe is cool, but I'd hate to spend the night here. Or maybe because the food was actually incredible. I had a plate of lavish delicacies with baked ice cream for dessert, and it was probably one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. Also, the meal is included with a stay overnight at the Snow Village Ice Hotel. This is actually pretty ironic. Every hotel in Finland is required by law to have fire extinguishers. So, in the ice hotel. There's fire extinguishers. The walls are lined with these pieces of clear ice with blue glacier lights illuminating them through the whole hallway. Yeah, that'd be awful. I think it'd be we very uncomfortable. We just finished up our dinner in the ice restaurant. But it's super and now cool. we're going to the ice bar. Damn, this place is fucking cool. Okay, but this is what it looks like with people actually in it. Since but the no, hotel it looks is miserable open now. to the public until 10 p.m., the bar is usually pretty packed. I'm paying ten thousand dollars a night, and I don't even get a private bar. For for people, get away from me, plebeians! Cheers. Cheers. Get out of my ice hotel. I got tonic because I don't drink. But what'd you guys get? Uh, we got a special yabber yabber. Just put the, show the B-roll. The Ice Hotel was built this year in collaboration with HBO's Game of Thrones, and it was oh, God. featured in the show last season. So I got some bad news for you, Game 2018 Thrones film, you Game of Thrones so fans. The Ice Cave Movie Theater, and also... You're thinking to yourself, man, this is a very, very romantic part of the world. You can actually come here and get married in the Ice Chapel. Thanks for your brother, Right Grimm. here, this is where you would do it. This is where you would tie the knot with the love of your life in an igloo. And it's actually, honestly, it's something like out of a fairy tale and... What is that? Where, where are you going? That's just in case you get cold feet, you know? Oh my God. If you jump down here off the altar, you look back and there's definitely a good amount of seating here. Family and friends. And now for the rooms. There are 30 rooms in the ice hotel. Holy shit. Eight of which are suites. Each suite has an individual piece of art that was commissioned by world famous artists. So you walk into this room. The art looks great. And some kind of that looks so cool. Viking man with some big snow globe. The level Bro, it's snow. Poseidon. What yeah, do you mean? No, like even up close, it, it makes it even more impressive the closer you get to it. Every suite has a different piece of art. So let's go check out the other ones. See, it's finally some real art, not just fucking polka dots. Seriously, if you were a kid, that's so you saw cool. This, Holy shit! Nightmares. What is that? A, a Titan? The colossal Titan? This is a regular room. There's no artwork, just a bed, mattress. You can't really tell until I put on the wide-angle lens how, how big is. these rooms are and how massive. Thanks for some I mean, Luffy. What's that? Eight foot, probably. If you get a little cold in the ice hotel. If you're not, you can walk outside here. Got a beautiful full moon back there. You cross this little area over here. There's a nice man to greet you. Oh, well, well, thank can you. I, can I keep you warm? Welcome. Wow, look There's at a this. fire that's probably burning 24-7. You can grab a fur and just warm up.
I mean, this place looks really cool to visit, but never to sleep. Just the guests. Staying here would be awful. In the hotel, and before there's a very party-like atmosphere, now it almost has an eerie, kind of haunted vibe to it, wouldn't you say? It's like it's like really, really quiet. Like, because all the snow just absorbs the sound. It's it's kind of scary. It's like, listen, ready? Maybe give Sub Coslo. It's so quiet. They're so quiet. This ice hotel is massive. And I'm kind of whispering now just because it is nighttime. It's almost midnight. So now I'm taking the path to the heated area where we change into our sleeping bags. So these are all the sleeping bags all stacked that up. That sounds right cool, here. Predator. You come over this way, you grab your pillow. Then on this side, they have towels, and there is actually a shower here. There's showers. There's I better be ice cold this is water. The hotel. You know, the ice rooms are kind of just the place to sleep. You have your sleeping bag liner, which is rated to, I believe the one guy said he's camped out at minus 45, Mike? Yes. Yeah, so this can get pretty cold. So you have your liner here, you put your liner, you jump in this first, then you slide into your sleeping bag. Then right up here, you have these little draw cords. So you pull on these guys, and more or less you are in a little cocoon. I hope so, really. Well, I mean, you'll see right now, back in my ice room. Ah, uh, infographic show. This is my room. None of us like I that channel, but you know what? I'll room. look it up anyway. I'm wear a hat. Oh, and I already know who that is. That's um, Long John's and Thermals. What's Maybe that? Gloves he, too. Who knows? He's Japanese. His name's um, Electronics. Go in the sleeping bag. Your phone will die. Oh, fuck, I don't remember. But he dug his way out with a little cup ice. once. This is like a heavy-duty sleeping bag. Once you get in this bag, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of toasty. Hat's very critical, but the temperature is minus nine or minus ten Celsius. It's actually colder in the ice hotel than outside. I'm gonna go into my room and cocoon myself. Good luck, good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Are you gonna sleep in the ice hotel or are you gonna go sleep in the warmth of the lobby? Uh I haven't decided yet, but I'm probably gonna sleep in the ice hotel. I'm gonna have the camera by my bed documenting, you know, if I wake up, if I'm sleeping. So either I will see you at sunrise or I'll see you if I can't sleep in a few hours. Or what if the ice hotel collapses and you just die? Then we wouldn't see you at all. That would be pretty awful, huh? Like all of a sudden it just gets hot. There you go. 6.47 in the morning. After a night in the ice some hotel. Made gentle the and there was crazy the and that boy. came in with a warm blueberry juice to kind of kick Watch started. the worst album ever made. Um, okay. Uh... Yeah, I look like I just slept on an ice bed. Okay, I'm a bit more awake. Left the ice hotel. Now walking into the main area, which is actually like a normal hotel, to find a delicious spread of breakfast laid out. You have eggs, you have all your bread, you have cheese. The cheese here is very good. Another alternative to having breakfast in the warm kitchen is to come out here to the official cold dining room and sit at the big table and have your breakfast here. But as you can see, yeah, food no eating is a sport. Cold Speed eating. Because after spending a night in this place, Joey Chestnut you are out of your damn mind if you want to have breakfast in the cold. But after I woke up, I went to the front desk and I found a diploma with my name on it, which says, Congratulations. Wow. Here is the big question. Would you spend a night in the ice hotel? Comment down below, yes or no, if you would stay Not for $10,000. For the night and make sure. Sounds horrible.